Let's begin this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, fellow pilgrims on our journey of faith. What a beautiful day it is to reflect on the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13. If one gives answer before listening, it is folly and shame. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. If you've spent even the smallest amount of time on social media, then you will appreciate the truth of today's passage. On social media, we have false sages, people who think that they have the best opinions and want to impose them on anyone regardless. Those who would answer before listening either think that they are really smart or they just don't care much about the person to whom they are listening. Probably the best that could be said about these kind of people is that they are more interested in solving a problem than they are in the person with the problem. What if I told you that we are not entitled to air our opinions about something or critique something or someone until we have demonstrated an understanding of what we are criticizing? If we took this little rule to art, it would probably change the way we typically evaluate or talk about the world and the people around us. How easy it is to evaluate, to criticize, to pick apart people and ideas, to be quick to form and give our opinions on various issues, only to later look like a fool because we really do not know what we are talking about. So when conversing with people, we must give ourselves to actively listening to them. We must learn to be patient and wait for all the facts to be gathered. We must desire understanding more than giving our opinion. Let us pray. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you for joining in today's podcast. Good Morning Jesus is a daily podcast to start your day with. Each day's entry contains a Bible verse, a brief reflection, and a short prayer. This affords you at most a five-minute quality time with Jesus at the dawn of the day, knowing that today is the first day of the rest of your life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.